So uh, this this video is just to uh, talk about the MacBook Air. Um, you know, it kind of died for us in uh, this MagSafe charger, which shows orange or green light here, was actually not at all working. Eventually, the battery died and the laptop was not turning on at all. Um, and we took it to the Apple store, Genius Bar, and apparently they're not so genius. They opened it up and said that it requires a whole logic board replacement and this <coughs> is another board which is the IO board replacement. And uh, the cost is ridiculous, about $800, right? More than up here. Yeah, so I think we, we bought this for about $1,000 a couple years back and to, to fix it, $800 is ridiculous, right? And they said there's a water damage, uh, there's a corrosion on the board. Um, and of course, we could not see it there. They didn't show it to us. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, and then they said that there's a water damage because they see corrosion and I mean, the, the, the laptop has never been in water. So I do not know how the corrosion kind of seeped humidity, in. Humidity. Uh, it can be humidity. It, it can be humidity, but I mean, ideally I'm expecting this uh, to be, uh, you know, having some sort of a seal or to, to kind of avoid that happen. And if that's happening to kind of Apple take care of it, why the customer should go through the uh, pain if they have not done any accidental water drops or anything, um, you know, on the, on the hardware. But having said that, I mean, we were <coughs> kind of hopeless um, to, we were just really feeling hopeless to kind of have this come back to life. I was thinking of taking it to the local store and then I thought, you know, why not just open it up and see what's going on. And um, we are actually recording this video a bit late. I, I wish we would have done it before, uh, but you may find numerous videos on YouTube talking about this. Um, that. I think what we what you need is uh, you know a repair kit like this iFixit repair kit or similar. We ordered the cheaper one from Amazon. Uh, apparently, uh, the the screw heads kind of well. kind of veer off. So I end up then ordering the iFixit. This is definitely expensive, about thirty dollars or so. Uh, but I think you know it's kind of doing it the, the <coughs> job fine. So having said that. Coming to the, uh, yeah, so I think. You're gonna need a P5 uh -huh. for the inside, uh, sorry, for the outside screws on the, like to basically take out the back plate. And you're gonna get, you're gonna need a T5 for the inner screws on the logic board. If you have any, if you wanna open the logic board or the SSD okay. or the battery. All right, so there are numerous videos talking about <laughs> how to uh, repair the MacBook. I'm not technical enough to understand, but I understand what the logic board is, what the electronic components are. I know that this is SSD and how to do the very basic DIY. Um, so I think what we observed coming to the crux is that this portion of the board uh, had, had massive corrosion built up, um, and which may be kind of, implicitly and kind of shorting these connections with each other um, and the second place we saw the corrosion is here um, underneath here and underneath uh, here <coughs> so let me just show you what does this mean and how to so and how to kind of go about and your your laptop may or may not have the symptoms but you may find corrosion in the other places of the board uh, so long story short, all you just need is uh, alcohol wipe like this. You metal know, line, I mean, you may have it in your uh, first aid box, and uh, this is the wipe. Look at how bad it is. Uh, this was, one this of the was like after cleanup. Now, this is uh, on the right hand side. This connection is your battery, and this is all the lithium ion batteries. What you need to do is like um, first of all, unplug the batteries. So, you know, plug it like that. yeah, and just pull it. There is a small Little clip, just, just gently pull it out, and this is how you have to just install it back once you do it. Now, at this point in time, uh, just take your charger out, and that basically decouples your device from any power source there. Um, now, I think just do, I think you can 
buy a kit where you get sprudgers, but it's very easy to do it with the hand too. Uh, so just lift it up and this thing comes up like this. It's a Lego connector, it's like Lego. Can you just hold it for me? Okay, and this board here um, had a lot of corrosion on this side. Now, I was seeing like some of these um, uh, wire connections are black in color, and I was not sure if this is like a dead cable, but we just thought to clean up. And then similarly here at this place, we saw corrosion, and the worst was here. Um, on the right-hand side, what you see is um, the cable. Top all here, over the cable all over the cable so we cleaned that up and we just took the wipe and the clean up but here can just okay um and what you see here at this place um right at the connections here i don't know if you can see it the connections um can you just point it yeah I, yeah here those metal parts yeah and there was a lot of corrosion here it, it felt like at one point that this thing is all burnt out uh, what we did is we attempted to clean it up and let me try to zoom in and see if it kind of helps any or maybe bring more light here uh, <coughs> uh, and what you see here is like you know after cleaning up I started to see this was like all <coughs> black this was all black earlier right I mean and I just thought we're gonna give it a good clean and we just use this uh, alcohol wipe and then clean this up it was all black before you know I could not see the wires underneath and I just cleaned it up and I was able to see all the five or six wire connections there and that's what we pretty much did after that uh, without connecting this cable we tried to plug the power source something like this which means there is no connection the battery connection is not there and by the way, if you have to exercise and if your laptop is fully drained, you can uh, pull this wire out um, and that'll, de uh, that'll disconnect your display. Um, and do you want to show how to do that? So you Just take, be gentle. This is your display wire. You take the black, mm -hmm. you pull it, you basically, it's kind of like a little hinge. You take it out, then you take this exact black wire and you pull back. There you go. And that, that disconnects your display. And this is your SSD. This portion is SSD. You just basically um, unscrew this and gently shift it towards left and that takes out your uh, SSD out. So what, where I'm just going with this is that I saw some videos and you can take this out, display out, battery out, uh, and then try to power source in. What you would see here is that, you know, at that point in time, it was not giving us any power signal. But you see the fan comes on and that gives us sort of a ray of hope. We, we saw the light at the end of the tunnel that, okay, you know, at least something is working. And um, after that, we just connected these things back in sequence, um, like the display board, you know, put back the SD card, then connected the battery. And then one by one, we tested all of these components up. The thing which you, which I cannot demonstrate now is, or maybe I can, what you see is that the light is not on on the MagSafe charger, but the fan is on, right? But once you start connecting or once you connect everything back up, you would not see this light until you have connected everything back up, right? At least it was the case for us. And that tells you that some connection is still um, not done yet. So having said that, let me just take this out. <clears throat> Um, and <coughs> at this point in time, just connect the things back. So could you please uh, connect the... Here you go. So display is connected. And then similarly, you connect the battery. Okay, wonderful. And then we connect. There's a there's a tiny um, glue here which sits on top of the fan. And this this is the most easiest. You just uh, align the port with the cable head and just gently press it. Okay, let me just 
this rear fan real quick. Everything is connected fine. <clears throat> All right. And that's pretty much what we did, you know. And after that, we just hope that it comes back to life. And uh, what you see is in is the light what we were looking for and it's it's orange because the battery is still not charged up but um, <coughs> you hear a sound and that's what you were hoping to hear can you just open it up oh. and just wait can you give you a feel that the laptop is uh on the the laptop is working and everything <coughs> seems to be fine good luck if you're running into the same problem Hopefully um, this trick works for you all and uh, you know bring your device back to life without having a huge expense or, or having to deal with a huge expense. Um, at this point in time, I'll just go, go show how to uh, take the back plate or back cover off. Um, you know, for the people who do not know that, uh, that's pretty straightforward, but just in case you need help with that. So, um, <coughs> so, um, so as you can see the whole thing uh, so 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 this is the plate once you see it, it's it's kind of opened up um, and uh, let me just take the power out we have connected everything back in um, and this plate actually sits like this and uh, can you just press it you slide in the vents first so you slide in the back side first make sure that goes in Okay, and you will see like this is like uh, all evenly aligned. Yep. And at that point in time, you have one, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about ten uh, screws. Uh, this is how tiny they are. Keep them in order because they're all. Uh, okay, so so the back ones are big ones, right? These two are big. These two are the big, and the rest of them are tiny. So this is how. The look so I think we just kind of kept them in the order we uh, took them out and uh, it just this has is my son helping me with this and uh, just take a p5 so this is a p5 yeah, we have so a in the iFix kit this is a p5 in case if you've done everything and you don't see things coming back up but but you see the fan working um, <coughs> the uh, one way or another thing you could try is um, do the shift control option. option and the power button I think you don't have to remember this but when you google it you will see this uh, listed in the instructions but once you press this keep, keep that on for like 10 seconds you don't have to really I think I see that this is happening really in less than a few seconds but all you have to do is like press it few, once and see if that that really helps resolve the problem um, if not I mean you know, uh, maybe there's something else wrong and uh, you have to watch some of the videos. I saw like people were testing component by component on the board, which is not very hard to do. You can have a multimeter and see what part of the boards are bad before you go to the shop. I would highly recommend go to some somebody local or outside than the Genius Bar. Um, doesn't look like Apple has any um, sort of people who are expert in the Genius Bar. They do a very basic diagnosis in the genius bar and then send the product to the repair shop somewhere off-site yeah they said that this computer you could do nothing about it yeah and uh yeah for us i think we were like really shocked to see 800 dollars bill um but i'm just glad that this is back just plugging it in and okay one all right and that's pretty much it good luck and uh i hope uh this, this helps you helps. bye